Ayo. What's going on YouTube? It's the Flies Vlogger on the planet. My name is Showtime Bazaar. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great, positive, productive day as always. You know, I got hip hop news, cultural updates, and everything like that for you guys today. But before we do any and all that, you know what you got to do. See that subscribe button on your screen right there. I need you to click that, turn that bell icon on so each and every time one of my videos drop the content that I'm providing to you, you don't miss it. Let's get into it, y'all. Drop my intro. <laughs> YouTube, what up though? All right, guys, let's jump into it, man. So let's talk about the situation with uh, Jess Hilarious and BMF star Lil Meech. Now, um, Jess Hilarious went on a Breakfast Club and talked about a little back and forth she had with Lil Meech. Here's what she said on the Breakfast Club. Take a listen. Time to go to Breakfast Club Court. Now, this comes from Jess Hilarious. She got into a beef with Lil Meech over the weekend. Yeah. A kerfuffle. <laughs> a kerfuffle. It is a, it's not really a kerfuffle, a beef, or whatever y'all just made up. It's just, I say what I say. Did he, what did he reply to? He replied to uh, the first lady BMF, Vivica okay. Fox's movie that's coming out in October on BET. Yeah, that you're in. That, yep, that I'm in. Yep. Um, and he's just like, yo, who who green who green lit this BS? And what, it's like, yeah, he he literally said that. Yeah, who green let who green lit this BS? Who me? Ain't nobody watching this. And I just wonder who playing us and all of that. And mm -hmm. I just was like, first of all, all right. So um, here's the thing. So. Lil Meech did not like the fact that they're doing a spinoff, so to speak. It's not really a spinoff. It's really just Tonisha Welch's story uh, and her involvement in BMF. Now, as we all know, Lil Meech is the son of BMF co-founder, CEO, whatever you want to call him, Big Meech, and his brother, Terry, uh, they started BMF. So... I guess Lil Meech is not really happy that they're doing their own story and it's not running through 50 Cent, him, his dad kind of thing, right? Here's what I got to say about that. One, I don't like that he went at Jess Hilarious, right? Because she don't got nothing to do with it. They asked her to play a part. She doing that. She went and get, she going to get a check, bro. So it's not really, you shouldn't really attack her. You know what I'm saying? If he doesn't like what's going on with that whole Tonisha Welch's story, telling her story, which let me get into that and I'm gonna get into that in a second. But if he doesn't like that they're doing that, take that up with Tonisha. Lee Jess Hilarious and the other actors that are participating in it alone. Cause they doing the same thing you doing, bro. They they trying to get a check. So I, the beef with Jess Hilarious, if that is if, if that's what you want to call it, unnecessary. Now, Tonisha Welch telling her story. I don't think me should have a problem with that. Little me should have a problem with that. And here's why. When uh, BET, they did New Edition. They did a New Edition story. And then they broke off and did a Bobby Brown story. And then um, someone decided to tell a Whitney Houston story. Now, we all know that Bobby and Whitney dated. But there's three sides to a story. There's his side, her side, and then the truth. So I don't have a problem with people making a Whitney Houston movie because her story needed to be told just like Bobby Brown's story needed to be told just like New Edition's story needed to be told. Same thing in this situation, right? I don't have a problem with 50 Cent telling the BMF story and I don't have a problem with Tonisha Welch going to BET telling her, telling them they want to do her story. I don't have a problem with Greg Mathis and Vivica Fox wanting to tell, help put out Tonisha Welch's story because it's her story. This story don't even probably got too much to do with Big Meech. Obviously, it does to a degree because it's BMF. But it's really more about how she felt. What was her thoughts? What did she go through growing up? What was her life experiences? I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. And if it's not 100% what Meech remembers, Big Meech, that's cool. That's what she went through. You see what I'm saying? So... I just think the whole thing, man, is a little misconstrued and, and it's a misunderstanding. And I feel like Meech just kind of stepped out of place, Lil Meech. Just because, bro, I understand you want to tell the BMF story and everything BMF should go through you and your dad. But in this case, uh, Tonisha just didn't want to have anything to do with 50 Cent stars and all that kind of stuff. She wanted to go do it on her own platform. And I can't be mad at somebody who just wanted to tell their own story. You know what I'm saying? And from what I understand, I sat down with Tonisha. Uh, and spoken to her, and she just wanted to do it her way. And I, and you can't fault somebody for doing that. 
You know what I'm saying? She just, she wants to probably put her own little uplifting spin on it because one thing that she kept reiterating in my interview with her was, um, you can come back from anything. And I think her um, tragedy to triumph story is what she really wants to get out to the people. So, but anyway, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comments below. Do you think Lil Meech overreacted? Uh, or do you think he has a point? Should um, Tanisha, you know, go to Stars and 50 Cent and everything like that and put that story out? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, y'all, it's time for plot twist. This is the part of the show where I bring in my guest host, Lori Mac. Lori Mac, say what's up to the people. What's up, beautiful people? All right, so this one here is a real plot twist for real because um, yeah. out of all the people, I never would have thought Chris Brown would have switched up on this guy. All right, Lori Mac, so tell us a little bit about this story here. Well, I know we all have seen over the weekend this whole little altercation with Chris Brown and Usher. So strange. It's weird. Who beats up Usher? Who? Right. What does that even mean? Why would you beat up Usher? Who gets into an altercation with Usher? And then they got so much music together, bro. Music, history. Videos, dancing. They like little brother, big brother. It's like, you don't want to see that. And then what's even worse is that Usher was throwing him a birthday party. That's a surprise birthday party. Yeah, that, 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 that make it like 10 times worse. Yikes. Apparently, they say that it was because Tiana Taylor was there. Now, explain the Tiana Taylor situation real quick before you go into it, because that's a little strange, too. I didn't know they had a, a, a beef beef for real. Yeah, I didn't know it was that deep, but apparently, I know a lot of you guys knew that a little while back, he was supposed to do a Michael Jackson tribute. Right. And it got canceled. Um, a lot of people were saying that it was because Tiana Taylor was supposed to be performing in there with him, but she pulled out at the last minute, and he feels that's the reason why his performance got canceled all in a whole. Now, I also heard that Tiana Taylor was shooting a movie. She was. That could have been that one movie that just came out. Right. That's what I'm. That's what I was hearing. That she just shot a movie. She was shooting that movie. I can't remember the name of it, but she was shooting that movie, yeah, which is why she had was not able to do the Michael Jackson tribute. Now, now, here's the thing, though. I don't understand why Chris Brown felt like he needed Tiana Taylor's help to do a Michael Jackson tribute. I feel like he's pretty. He's nailed Michael Jackson enough times to where. He doesn't need Tiana Taylor's help. Now, that doesn't mean that him and Tiana Taylor wouldn't have made it even more fire, like made it to the next level. I just feel like he right. would have been, like, understanding and been like, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Go get your money. But right. apparently not. And that's why it, it sucks because you would have thought that they would have talked about it beforehand. Or, you know, obviously Tiana didn't think it was that big because she wouldn't have showed up right. if it was something that was more than what it was. You know what I'm saying? And then, I guess, apparently the next day, you know, Usher had a concert, Lovers and Friends concert, and Chris Brown was there. Yeah. So that made it confusing because, like, okay, did you guys fight or did you not fight? But it was only so many videos that were circulating that night when they did get in that argument. And then he got into it backstage during Missy Elliott's set of the Lovers and Friends concert. Right. Now, they say they say that it was because his son was back there, and I guess they was getting real rowdy, a lot of movement going on back there, and I guess he was trying to push people away from his son. Mm. I don't know if that's true or not, but <laughs> that's the only thing he did, he addressed. He still hasn't addressed the whole him and Usher mishap. I guess it must have just been something water on the bridge. I don't know, but I'm still curious. Yeah, I'm, I'm not understanding. Like, the Tiana Taylor thing must have been real, real deep in order for him to feel like she cannot be at the party at all. And Tiana Taylor, if you know you and Chris Brown not on good terms, I don't think it's a good idea to show up to his birthday party and try to hash things out. That's not a good time. You know what I'm saying? And he drunk and everything. He turning up. He feeling good. And you want to be there and try to be kumbaya. There ain't no good time for all that. That's true. But that's why I feel like she probably didn't think that it was as deep as it was. And then on top of that, I heard Chris Brown was drinking. So he was saying a whole bunch of shit off the side of his, you know, he under his breath. He was saying a lot of shit under his breath, like... You know what I'm saying? Tripping. So she's just like, you tripping, you tripping. You know what I'm saying? So then that's, I guess things got worse from the shit she was saying, trying to, I guess, try to get around the situation, trying to defuse it, but it just became something bigger than what it was. And Usher trying to break up everything, it became a whole big mess when they went outside of the skating rink. And I guess that's when his boys jumped on him. It wasn't said that Chris Brown himself jumped on him, right? but that's the other thing I heard. they said his whole gang just had yeah, enough. That's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Chris Brown hit Usher. I feel like he got too much respect for Usher to to violate him like that. Unless Usher violated first. And then what makes this 
<laughs> adds more insult to injury. Usher was just talking about doing the verses. Oh, right, that's he right. He was just talking about doing the verses. Like, I don't know, man. This story just... First of all, it hurts, okay? Yeah. Because everybody want to see a Chris Brown and... Uh, Chris Brown. Chris Who Brown and Usher. Usher? Yeah, bro. Like, that don't make sense. Usher ain't doing... He been skating for the last two years. <laughs> having Mind his fun. business. <laughs> <laughs> Minding his business. So, the fact that you want to just beat him up, Chris, I don't, I don't like that, bro. I don't, don't sit right in my spirit. But... They said that he didn't fight him. He didn't beat him up. So I'm, I'm going to give it a pass until it comes out that he actually hit him. But Usher been, you know what I'm saying, chilling. He got his little vacancy uh, 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 thing in Vegas. Uh, so, yeah, man. Um, well, we want no answers, okay? So whenever yeah, and quickly, if you see this, Chris, or Usher. I'll at us. <laughs> what happened? Tell us no. <laughs> Let us know what you think about the whole situation in the comments below. Uh, how do you feel about this whole Chris Brown, Usher, Tiana Taylor? I got to throw her name in there situation. Absolutely. Let us know all of that. <laughs> In the comments below but that's all we got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video you should enjoy this video you know what to do like comment share subscribe and until next time we out of here y'all